Now Locke's theory of perception is really very much or very close to our everyday understanding about what's going on in standard cases of perception, seeing, hearing, tasting, smelling, you know, anything through the five senses, feeling. And the diagram that we see through to uh, Fred Feldman kind of explains the concept of perception or Locke's theory of perception. That is, Locke says there are things out there in the world something that many of us or most of us probably think for example there is that item A which is Feldman who is number C over there Feldman's truck and now what happens according to Locke is something comes off of Feldman's truck these B things and sort of interact with Feldman He thought that they were actually sort of particles back in uh, back in his day, you know, remember before the American Revolution. Science hadn't quite advanced to the point that it is today. But they seemed to have an idea what was going on. So, so certainly the, what we know about physics and light being waves um, was something that was invented way after Locke. But the idea was kind of right that something is coming off that vehicle A that hits us in the eye. Here we are, Feldman representing us C. And what happens is we get this sensation or a picture sort of in the mind, wherever the mind is. We're not taking sides on the mind-body problem right now. Wherever this mind is, but the thing out there in the world causes me to have a sensation, an idea of the truck. The sensation is sort of an idea of the truck. You know, and it's an idea that resembles the truck. And this is what happens, according to Locke, in the standard cases of perception. You know, to modernize the terminology is we're standing there and the whatchamacallit, the light bounces off. Feldman's truck hits us in the eye. And we have a certain kind of sensation, kind of we have the picture of the truck in our mind, and that sensation reflects what we're seeing. And the same is with smell. If we're smelling a flower, something actually comes off the flower. A certain part of the chemical interacts with our sense of smell in our nose, and it causes us to have you know, a certain to to sense a certain smell. But this is just standard, the standard way that Locke's theory of perception works.